everyone, Zoe here from Make It Crafty. I thought that I would do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you how to use a digital stamp in using Microsoft Word and also how you can layer the Make It Crafty images on top of each other to create your scenes in Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to start with um, obviously just opening up a Word document. I need you to excuse my parrot in the background. Um, I'm running late with this video and he's going to decide that he wants to be part of the conversation. So if you can excuse him, then we should hopefully be able to learn a couple of different things of what you can do with your digital stamps today. So just starting off, you open up a, a Word document uh, using Microsoft Word. I'm using Microsoft Word 2007. If you've got an older version, you can still do all the same things. It's just in different menus. Um, so you just need to just click around and play around a little bit and see um, how to use your older version. So, and all I want to do is I'm going to insert an image. So I'm going to click on the insert tab at the top here and click on picture. And I've already got my two pictures of where I know where they are. So you just need to go to where you've saved your images. And we're going to start playing with Rockset to start with. And Rockset is a new digital image that is available from Make It Crafty. And you'll notice that she's now on the page, but I can't move her anywhere. She's stuck in that position. So what we need to do to free her is to right click, you go to text wrapping and just select square. You can select any of these, but just select square and that will free her. And that now we can see, as you can see, we can move her around the page. The great thing about digital stamps is that you can resize them, you can flip them, you can rotate them, you can do all different things with them. So what we're going to do is to resize, is you'll see that we've got these handles around the edge here. If you select one on in the corners, as you resize it, the image will stay in proportion, just like so. However, if you select one of the handles that are on each side or the top, as you change it and move it, and to actually to change these, you actually hold your left mouse button and drag the mouse and it will resize. But you'll see that when you actually change the ones from the sides, the image doesn't stay in proportion. So if you ever want to undo anything, you just simply hit on the undo button, like so, and it'll take you back until you're happy with starting again. Now the other thing that we can do is we can rotate, as I was saying before, and we can flip an image and all that type of thing. If, for example, when you select the image, you'll notice that you get these picture tools and you've got all these different formatting options at the top here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the rotate option and click on rotate and in here it allows you to flip and you can see which way it's going to flip as you go through each one before you select it. So we're going to flip her horizontally and she's now facing the other way. Another thing that you can actually do is you can add picture borders. So if you go to the picture border, you can select that you want to put a border around it. You can even change the weight of that border. So if you go down to weight, you could give it a nice big thick border. You can also change it to a different type of border. So you might want to put dashes around it. There's so many different things that you can still do in Word um, with your digital stamps. I'm just going to undo all that and put it back to the other side. Okay, another thing that you can actually do is you can crop an image. So if you come up to here and you go to crop, you'll get these new lines around the image and as you drag it, it will actually crop down to this area that you've actually dragged it to. And then you could put another border around and we'll put a nice big thick border and all of a sudden you can change this as well so you can just go back to crop and you can make it bigger again if you've cropped off too much and there's so many different things and so you can see we can move her around here and now we've got this cute little image that we can print out and um, put onto a card. But what I wanted to show you today is I wanted to show you how you can actually layer the Make It Crafty images and I 
usually print my images onto an A5, which is half of an A4. So I'm going to start a new project, consist of blank document, create, and I'm going to go to the page layout here. And I'm going to select the size, and I'm going to say that I want it to be an A5. And so already I know that I'm working in the right workspace and the image isn't going to be too big. So, but because my printer, I know that my printer will print close to the edge and I want to take advantage as much of my paper as possible. So I'm just going to drag these rulers and this sets the margins. Try this side first. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert a picture. And I'm going to insert Roxette first. And we'll insert, we've got the same problem as we did before is we can't move her around. So we need to right click, go to text wrapping and click square. And now I'm going to insert another image that I want to put her with. So I'm going to go into insert picture again. And this time I'm going to use another new digital stamp for Make It Crafty called the Girls Messy Bedroom. And you'll see that it doesn't fit onto the page, it's stuck, I can't move it, so I need to again right click on it and I'm going to text wrapping and I'm going to go to square and oops, what happened to Roxette? She's gone! But I can freely now move my image around. So what's happened here is that this particular image isn't completely transparent because it's designed to only have some areas that are transparent so that you can lay your images on or behind. If I move Roxette here, you'll see that the window is transparent. So for example, if you wanted to um, put an outside landscape image behind the, the, um, the bedroom image, you could have it that you had a sun, for example, behind the window. Um, but what we need, obviously we need Roxette in front of this image. So we're going to click on the image in front. We're going to right click on that. And then we're going to go to send to back. So we're going to send it to the back so that Roxette is now in front. And I'm going to move it up near the top of the, the page so that it prints near the top. And I also want to make sure that it's the right width for my particular card that I'm going to make. So I'm going to right click on that image, I'm going to go to size and I'm going to select, make sure that I've got the lock aspect ratio selected. I'm going to go to width and I'm actually going to set that to 12 centimeters. And it will automatically change the height with the same aspect ratio of the image without it being distorted. So now that I know that my background image is going to be the right size for when I print it out to put onto my card. I can now resize Roxette to fit in with the background image. So I'm going to select that image, select the corner, and I'm going to resize her down. And I'm going to put her into position where I want her to, to be standing. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see the image a little bit better. Bring it into 200. And so we've got Roxette here, and I'm not quite sure of her position, but I don't want to move her too much. So I can actually use my arrow keys to just move her around where I want her to, to be standing. Okay, so how about some fun, a funky sentiment? I think that we need to have, you know, say something cool. I mean, like she is like a rock chick. So what I've decided is that I'm going to use the word art. Great thing about Word is you've got all these different options, but I'm just going to use the outline text. So no matter what sort of font that I use, it's going to put it as an outline. And so I'm going to just going to say, um, you rock my world. And I'm going to select a funky font. And this particular font can actually be downloaded from a website called Defont. So if you go to defont.com, and I just did a search for, I knew the name of the font. I did a search for Arf Mooch. And, um, and that's the actual name of the whole font here. So you can just pause and go looking for it. It's free. Just make sure that you install it before you actually 
um, open up your program that you're going to be working in and then it will be able to have access to that font. And so I'm just going to change the size um, to about 20. We'll be able to resize it once it's put into the document anyway. And we've got the same problem as before. We can't move it. So the only difference is, is this time you need to use the menu at the top. So you need to make sure that it is selected and you'll see that you've got all these new options at the top here. Just go to text wrapping, click square, and it's now able to be moved wherever you want on the page. And I'm just going to position it here. I think that looks pretty cool. So all I'm going to do now is, um, is print that out and, um, and colour it in. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video today and I hope that you've learned a few tips of how you can use digital stamps in Word. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you at makeitcrafty.com.au.